So, we're standing here in the new LEGO house. So good to see you again. It's really good to see you as well. Yeah, so we've talked a few times. We're standing at the roof when it has been really cold. And now we are standing here inside the building and it's such an awesome place. Um, how does it feel, finally? It feels absolutely fantastic. You know, this is the day that we have worked towards for such a long time. And uh, yes, you and I met when it was cold outside. Uh, today, uh, yes, it's, uh, it's dry outside. It's not quite as cold. It's an absolutely fantastic day so far and it, uh, it will only get better. So you have been one year late um, because of the structure. You put a lot of steel inside because of this awesome room space downstairs. Now everything is in time. Um, the opening will be in a few hours. So is there anything you would do different um, when you open the next Lego house or would you say everything is fine? I would say everything is perfect. I mean, this is exactly the house that we dreamed of. Um, the house, all the amazing LEGO experiences we have in here. We recruited the most fantastic organization to, uh, to be part of this house. Everything is perfect. So right here we have the awesome tree. We have the dinosaurs inside. We have all uh, those awesome zones. Um, please tell us, what is your favorite zone or favorite room in this LEGO house? Can you mention one? I think if I can pick a zone, then, then I think I pick the blue zone because I think there are so many great activities in the blue zone. But if I can only pick one experience, I would actually not pick one of the blue experiences. Then I would pick the fish designer, which is in, uh, in the emotional uh, zones so or the yellow zone, because I just think that's an absolutely fantastic experience. If you see a blue fish, which is swimming around and looks like a ball or something, this is mine fish. That's your <laughs> fish. I'm sure it looks great. So We will take good care of it, I promise you. The thing is, and now you will open. You will open the the Lego house later on, and um, we see all these awesome settings. Will you change something from time to time, or is this given for 40 years now? No, it's a really good question because uh, I mean, no, obviously we will change over time. We need to, you know, follow trends. We need to follow the way that families are, the way children are. So we will constantly need to revitalize ourselves in the house here. So uh, we have a design team that has been doing a great job to get all these experiences here developed. And they will actually continue in the house as well to make absolutely sure that we continue having fresh experiences in the house as well. So there are going to be new things also, but all the guys out there have to see uh, this experience here. Um, when we think of the Lego house, many people ask me, oh, there's also the Legoland. Um, is there a way to see both? Is there one price? What can you tell those people? Yeah, you can actually buy a combi ticket, a combi ticket that will give you access to both the uh, Lego house and, uh, and Legoland. Yes, so that's possible. There's a big difference. Right here, uh, we have no fairground. There are no carousels. This is all about experience uh, the brick. Have you tried everything on your own here? I have tried everything on my own in here, yes, and uh, I can safely say that all the experiences are, are great and, and as I said before, I mean, there's nothing I would do, uh, do different. So, um, I'm totally with you. We had also the great opportunity on Friday to see everything and test all the awesome things here. But I was wondering, how many people um, could you let in here and say, okay, now we are full? How many people um, should be inside and then it's still an experience and not too many people around? Yeah, no, it's actually a really good question because, you know, we have limitations, uh, the fire regulation saying we can have so many people in here, but we will actually have uh, a lot less people in here because uh, this is about getting a fantastic experience when you're in here. And I think we all know that if you are visiting uh, an attraction and you need to spend all the time standing in the, in the line and you cannot see anything and you cannot really touch anything, that's not really a good experience. That's not what we are all about. So that actually means that we will put a limitation as to how many we uh, let into the house. And that limitation is, uh, is lower than you know our actual physical limitation. It has to be a fantastic experience. Can you give us a number just to think of? Yeah, I, I, within the experience zones, uh, so, so, so the six experience areas that we're having, we can fit in approximately approximately 1,000 people at the same time, and then it's still a good experience. So I received many, many mails in the last days, comments, because I've already shown the new awesome LEGO architecture set, which you can buy only here in the LEGO store. Uh, and I was asked about like 30 times, can you 
bring me the set. Uh, what do you say to those people who want to buy the set? They have to come and visit the Lego house, am I right? Yes, I mean, uh, this is the only place in the world where you're able to buy that set. And uh, I think we will uh, need to keep it that way because this is one of the true unique fe features of the house. But we also hope that a lot of people will come to the house and uh, yes, then one of the, the great things is that then you get the opportunity to buy the box set. Um, many people also in North America and other um, countries are reading the articles I've published about the Lego House and I got many questions um, because of the Lego House. Is it possible, I mean this is the home of the brick and the heart of Belond, it's the perfect place, but is it possible that there could be another Lego House in the future someday, another place, or would you say no, this is the experience right here in Belond and that's it? This is the experience right here in Belon and that's it. <laughs> awesome. This is the one and only house in the world. I mean, this is home of the brick. This is the town where Lego was, uh, was founded uh, 85 years ago. Uh, it's never been in our discussions whether Lego house should be anywhere else than Belon or whether we should have more houses. And it shouldn't be. This is it, and this is the place. Okay, so you're going to check out, there's going to be a new Lego land in New York, uh, but the Lego house will only here. So um, now, when the, the house will open, um, people can get inside here. And what I think is very special here, that you can, for example, build a minifigure, and um, you can then take a photo of it, and like a, a kind of magazine, yeah. and you can take all the photos home, so you don't have to pay for it. I just understood that. So that's the way you do it right here, with a special, uh, you have to scan a special ID. Uh, we have this special, uh, special wristband here, yeah. that is actually following, and then there's an RFID chip sitting in that wristband. And basically everything you do during the day, will be captured on this wristband if you go to some of our capture stations. Mm -hmm. And then via the code on your wristband and the code on your, on your ticket, then you're actually able to access uh, your, your library of, uh, of the things that you've done. You can do that via the, the, the mobile app uh, for LEGO House. Can you take your fish home also? Your fish is also a part of the pictures. Your fish will not swim around okay. <laughs> in your mobile phone, but the picture of your fish will be there, yes. Awesome. So is there any wish? Um, now the Lego house is done. We're finally standing here. The sun is shining. It's not cold, but not standing outside. Is there any wish you have for the future now? For the Lego house, anything you would, yeah, any wish you have? I, my main wish would be that uh, all the guests that we have coming into the house, that they will have a fantastic experience and they will really leave with the, with the arms uh, raised high and, uh, you know, a big smile on their faces and uh, uh, go out to the world and tell everyone that this is a fantastic experience and then hopefully go home inspired to continue building with, uh, with Lego bricks and uh, continue to have fun. It's so good to standing finally here in the Lego house. This is Jesper, the boss of the Lego house, the one and only. So good to see you again. Good to see you. We're coming back and all the best for you and this Thanks. awesome experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.